In Australia, the church has a charity called Saints Care. The purpose of Saints Care is to alleviate the suffering of the poor and needy. It is a large part of how the church in Australia pursues the mission initiative, abolish poverty and suffering. As part of its work, Saints Care receives a million dollar annual grant from the government to assist youth between the ages of 16 and 25 that are homeless or those at risk of becoming homeless. Around $200,000 of this grant is spent annually on financial assistance for basic needs such as food, clothing and housing. It is like ablation and the demand for this is huge, growing every year. Last year, I spent many weeks struggling with, in comparison, how little we were spending through the church on ablation in Australia. Given my involvement with Saints Care and its youth services program, I knew there was huge need in the community, but we just seemed to be doing so little as a church in comparison. I was struggling trying to work out how the church could do more. Not long after this struggle, about a month later, I received a letter from someone the church had given ablation aid to about six months before. They were thanking me for the church's assistance in their family's time of need. One of the family members began suffering from a medical illness for an extended period. The marriage ended up breaking down and the parents soon separated. Not long after the separation, one of the parents lost their job and their savings quickly disappeared as they tried to find another job. Ablation assistance was given to assist in helping them meet their basic needs whilst a new job was found. By the time I finished reading their letter, I had tears streaming down my face. This person was thanking me, not just because ablation helped them through a very difficult time, but because they felt loved, loved. Love knowing that community of Christ was there for them and able to respond. When they felt their life was falling apart, the church made them feel loved. And that is what caused the tears to be streaming down my face. That letter put it all back into perspective for me. It isn't about how many dollars are spent. What matters is that we help and help according to our true capacity. It also reinforced for me how important the spiritual practice of tithing is so the church has ongoing resources to live out Christ's mission in lots of different ways, such as ablation assistance to those in need. A disciple's generous response is a whole life response to how we live out our stewardship of time, talent, treasure and testimony. It is about aligning our priorities with God's priorities, Christ's mission, so we can spread joy, hope, love and peace around the world so others can experience God's generosity, God's love too. It is about aligning our hearts with God's hearts. It is about love, love for God, love for community of Christ, love for our neighbours, love for people around the world. As stated in 1 John chapter 3, verse 18, Dear children, let us not merely love with words or speech, but with actions and in truth.